Team 3 Weather with Tom Kiffin. Welcome back into Local 3 News. I'm Jake Durant, joined by meteorologist Tom Kippen. Now, Tom, from what I'm hearing, there were some beautiful sunsets out tonight. I missed it, of course, but uh, you're getting some photos and things uh, sent into you. Yeah, and I posted it to my, what is it, X or Twitter now? What do we call it? I think it's X. All right, Officially I X, posted yes. it to my X account and at Tom Kippen, so go ahead and check it out there. I also tagged you in that. Um, what, it's not tweets anymore, is it? I, I think they just call it posts. Posts. Just post. I tagged you in the post on X. So go ahead and check it out there. But also the NMU webcam also caught this amazing su sunset. Most of the day we were in the clouds and the on and off rain showers, but we did get some breaks here. It's the NMU webcam here on the time lapse. And you can see here that, look at this, just Ooh. a beautiful sunset looking out towards Lake Superior and the Superior Watershed um, partnership webcam caught a gorgeous sunset looking towards Wetmore Landing and also on Sugarloaf Mountain or looking towards Wetmore Landing and Sugarloaf Mountain. Go ahead, check it out. That's on the 906 Weather Watchers page and that's the post I tagged you in. We also had some other beautiful skies here across the UP. Let's fire up Max 1 here and you can see on Max 1 here, this is from Mary Bollinger of Rock and that's Herb's Bar and Grill there in Rock looking towards the south there and M35 would be on the right hand corner of your screen and you can see a faint rainbow as they're on the northern edge of some clouds and some rain showers in the Rock County or in Rock in northern Delta County here. But thank you, Mary, for sending that in. And as we look at some other photos here, Bonnie V, a beautiful photo here. Schoolcraft County here, some red skies, she said at her place in Schoolcraft County. Thank you, Bonnie V, for sending that in. And then a family of loons, Matt Shorteris of Ishpeming, sending in this photo. The loons hanging out on a rainy day on Deer Lake, north of Ishpeming. Thank you, Matt, for sharing that to the 906 Weather Watchers page. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page on Facebook, feel free to join. It's simple. We'd love to show off photos like this during WJMN, Local 3 News, and also on upmatters.com. So here's three things to know here for your weekend. It's not going to be the best weekend, unfortunately. We will have some rain and also some thunderstorms. Tomorrow, though, could be a soaking to perhaps a heavy rain. And just be aware of that if you live around some poor drainage areas or some near some rivers, creeks, and streams. We could see some elevated rivers and perhaps some standing water or also some flooding. So just be aware of that. The good news is I think the heaviest rain is going to miss the locations that saw the heavier rain, the heaviest rain late Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning. So that's definitely some good news there. Still, the UP is definitely going to get in on some rain. It's going to be cool tomorrow with temperatures in most spots around 60 or the 60s. Here comes your rain, some embedded thunder also as we head into Saturday. And then some of those rain showers hang around into Saturday night. Sunday, another chance of rain and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon. Our community forecast looks like this for the Copper Country. We're looking at temperatures early Saturday morning in the 50s. Saturday afternoon temperatures will be in the 60s for the interior. Interior West early Saturday morning temperatures in the 50s, upper 50s. Highs tomorrow range from 63 to 65 degrees for the South Central UP, including Escanaba. We'll see temperatures right around 57 for a early morning temperature and then high Saturday afternoon, generally in the low to mid 60s. As we move into the eastern UP, including Newberry, we're going to have low temperatures later on tonight, early Saturday morning in the mid 50s. Highs tomorrow right around 65 for Newberry, 66 for Curtis. Cine and Germfast for Elder County, 53 for Munising later tonight, 53 Chatham, 54 Trenary. Highs for your Saturday right around 60, a little bit cooler for Grand Marais and the Pitchard Rocks Coast. Into Marquette County for the interior sections, we'll see temperatures early Saturday morning in the 50s. Highs tomorrow, 58 for Gwynn, 61 Saturday afternoon for Arnold and same for Witch Lake. Higher terrain west of Marquette, we'll see temperatures that will be early Saturday morning around 55 degrees and then your daytime highs for Saturday day will range from 58 for Ishpeming and Nagani to 62 for Michigami and then for Marquette County we'll see temperatures for the city of Marquette along the Lake Superior shoreline around 53 for Marquette high Saturday afternoon will be around 57 degrees and then I guess we got this new rule when Jake and I do newscasts together Bill's got to be in it.
So we're, we're adding, technically adding a third member to our team here. Yes. We're going to add Bill in. Yes, yeah, so this was from our walk a few days ago. We're doing some long leash training. I really want him to be able to free roam. Um, right now he's free on his leash. That's him kind of looking back at me, giving him a look. I think he's w wondering if he should run away or not. Luckily, <laughs> he did not, and he stayed by me. So he's doing really well with his training. I mean, that's, a, that's an area on the, on the north trails right off Wright Street here near our station. Um, as you can see behind him, the, the massive sand pit. It's a really unique location if you haven't been out there. Um, not too far. It's a not too far of a hike, so it's, a, it's definitely one that we like to frequent a lot. Nice, and I hope Bill continues to progress well on his training. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Very, very impressed and very, very proud of him and how far he's come. Nice.